Yeah. I mean, one thing in terms of like your legacy in MMA is like you have a phenomenal ground game. I mean, everybody knows that. And you love talking about American jiu-jitsu. I don't really know the politics, why you don't say Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I know you probably have a reason for that. So before I go into the next part of this question, I want to understand why you're so passionate about the term American jiu-jitsu over BJJ. Yeah. It originally started out as kind of a joke because of that time period. I wasn't really training with the gi. In the time period, Brazilians ran everything and they were hating a lot, being like, oh, you can't. I had a purple belt. Like, you can't be a purple belt. So I went and put a gi on for a week and went and just dominated the world to show them that I could. <laughs> but they, they kept pissing me off, so I started calling it American Jiu-Jitsu. I'm like, all right, bitch, it's American Jiu-Jitsu then. But in reality is, Americans, we did take Jiu-Jitsu, especially guys like me. I was one of the founders of it. Took it and blended Jiu-Jitsu in. We blended Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling together. We took the gi off, so it's more of an aggressive style. Jiu-Jitsu is about laying back, especially traditionally about laying back and waiting for the guys to make a mistake. Wrestling is about forcing things. So I think I'm one of the original guys that took it and kind of blended the two. So even though I started American Jiu-Jitsu as a joke, I think it's kind of a, I really am one of the founders of the new style. Yeah. And like the new Jiu-Jitsu guys, they mix my style. They have way better takedowns. They're more of that aggressive attack. So it's a, it's a different style of Jiu-Jitsu than the, because it used to be sit back and wait. And you can't do that in MMA fight, sit back and wait for yeah. the guy to make a mistake. That makes sense because um, wrestling, if you're, really, if you're really good at wrestling and you get really good at Jiu-Jitsu, I, I feel like you're almost unstoppable on the ground. Mm-hmm. It's when they're blend, and that's it's the perfect blend. The way I look at it, of blending the two, yeah. and obviously taking pieces of uh, uh, judo and sambo, but really wrestling and jiu-jitsu blend is the main piece. You did sambo and judo, just tiny bits, just just what works, you know, like the leg locks. Take take anything that works, but really wrestling and jiu-jitsu blended together is the perfect art without the gi. Mm. So a lot of people talk about ADCC. We see like one of the youngest winners ever, one of the Rotolo brothers. We've seen legends like Gaval. You you were a bronze medalist, I think, in two thousand and six, two thousand five. 2005, I think. 2005. Yeah. So you've obviously seen the highest level of ground game. And then obviously you kind of adapted that towards your MMA career. Who do you feel right now is like one of the most dominant fighters on the ground? For the, for a UFC? Mm -hmm. oh, good question. I don't watch near as much as I should. I'm trying to think real quick of who some of the top grapplers are. Um, Bilal Muhammad's pretty good. Um, yeah. Not pretty good. He's really good. Uh, Gilbert Burns. Um, yeah. I know there's more guys. Same jiu -jitsu. Gilbert, Gilbert Burns has yeah, some of these guys. Yeah. Gilbert Burns is really good. It's so powerful. Every single angle he hits. Every he has like this crazy no gi gi style jiu jitsu. Yeah. I would I would consider some, that kind of a, similar to mine. Yeah, I, like I had a grapple match with him. I beat him in a really close match, like an overtime thing. Like it was a very competitive match with him. It's Where was tough. this at? It was in Chell Sonnen show up in Oregon. I forget what it was, Submission Underground, I think it was called. A couple years ago? Yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah. Did you do any of those shows? No, no. He asked me, but I'm not a grappler like that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm he, not finna go get he was, pay, he was paying pretty good. Yeah, he was, guys. yeah. yeah but I was fat as fuck, too. I, oh, like, yeah, I ain't finna so. do all that shit. You should now, now that we got the mats in here. I've been seeing you train MMA. Yeah, I need, I need, I need to get me a good uh, jujitsu coach. We have we have some good jujitsu coaches coming here. Who, who you got coming? It's going to be insane. Can you say? Not yet, oh, but okay. it's going to be Yeah, insane. you just need to work on passing. and get. If you get the bottom, just getting up, getting up. Yeah, I need to work Refuse on to stay on bottom. Do you have you watched the Rotolo brothers at all? Oh, they're really good. They're what phenomenal. do you think makes them so good? <sighs> they're just like they mix everything so well. They're so athletic. It's like it's kind of the American jiu-jitsu style. Yeah, they're they got great takedowns. It's not the old school style of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You know, they're just attack, 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 relentless. They're good everywhere. Almost impossible to choke. Great darses. Yeah. They're phenomenal. They're fighting now too, huh? That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Did you see? Yeah, it? Ty's fighting. Cade's fighting. I mean, one's gonna go full MMA, and then one's obviously he's got a, you, a one fight tonight, I believe, or tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's crazy though because their pace is on another level. Yeah, their pace Do you feel is like crazy. today's jujitsu game is becoming a lot more athletic based? Like these athletes are really turning the sport upside down. Oh yeah, it's way more athletic and there's no drug testing either in the industry. <laughs> so you get some big athletic guys that just like keep going. How do you feel about that? I know you, you're very voiceless uh, about stuff that you don't like. I'm, on Twitter. I'm, I'm very mixed because like I'm torn because part of it's like, you know, we were never doing any drugs we were doing it. I know a lot of the guys we were competing against were, so it sucks. But it's almost like if there was no rules, like maybe I'd say fuck it and just get juiced out myself and just let everyone do it. So I don't know. I, I go back and forth. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about it because I don't I don't agree with like fighters doing mm -hmm. like performance enhancers. But in jujitsu, you're not. It punching. is grappling. It's just grappling. So, yeah, it's not so punching. It's, you either got to have really good, really strict testing or none at all, because otherwise yeah. it totally makes it, it really makes it unfair. Yeah. So if either if everyone's on it or they got to find a way to make sure no one's on it, because a few people are on it, then it becomes a big problem. Yeah, because some people just are totally against it. Like me, I've I've always been against uh, doing performance enhancement, mm -hmm. even though I was fighting people that was on that shit in Japan. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised in Japan that you weren't. But yeah, for me, I was just like our team never did it. It was one of those things to stay away from. But yeah. it's I can see why guys do. Don't get me wrong. It's like I look at these guys and they're all jacked, not getting tired. You're like, especially at my age, I'm like 45. And like people, I, I, 
saying, do you want to fight again? I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I feel like, the reason why I, I never did, I've, I've always been against drugs, but I felt like it, it would shorten your career. Mm -hmm. That's why I always felt like steroids. Yeah, I, I, I mean it makes your bones brittle. That's a fact. Yeah. It also ruins your gut health, which is why a lot of people always claim and attack Gordon Ryan, saying he's on so much steroids because he has. I think gut his health. was from oh. antibiotics, though, because he did antibiotics like thirty times in a row. He kept. Yeah, I'm not saying he did. I'm just staff. saying that's why people attack him. No, I know that's why yeah. I attack him. Why? But I'm pretty sure his was from like way over antibiotics use. And what antibiotics? Because antibiotics it kills it kills all the um. All the bacteria in he your gut. You're saying anabolics. Oh yeah, you know, you know Antibiotics. antibiotics. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so he, he kept getting staph infection, or he thought he did. He might be taking. We didn't need it, and he mm -hmm. completely wiped out all of his bacteria in his uh, gut. So he got that. He got it rebuilt, but then he had to go on a few like six months ago. He had to go on antibiotics again, and it rewiped it out.